hello soulmates how are you all doing welcome back to my channel my name is Angela. thank you so much for joining me if you're new to my channel you're welcome consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you get to know anytime i post new videos so today i'm going to show us how to alter your a-line pattern to create three unique designs so if you're interested let's get started all right the first uh, alteration that i'll be doing now is the a-line dress with a panel cone so I'm going to start with that one. So here I have my pattern. As you can see, I already marked out some of the measurements. And if you're a returning subscriber, I believe by now you should know how to draft a fitted bodice pattern and a fitted A-line pattern as well. I have a lot of videos on how to do that. So you can see that I've started already. So this is the chest line. Sorry, this is the shoulder line and this is the chest line. So I have, these are the two important measurements that you need for an A-line pattern and of course the length of the dress. Okay, so now the first thing to do here or how you can fold your dress in order not to waste your fabric, all you need to do is to add three inches to whatever you have. What I mean is that if you're working with say the chest measurement is 22 inches, when you divide that by four, you add extra three inches to that so now i have five and a half which is um 22 divided by four i have five and a half so i'll just add three inches to that making it 8.5 so on fold you can see i have 8.5 on fold so this way you don't need to waste your fabric so now i'm going to connect now from this edge here i'll just connect it to this chest line that i've marked already okay so from this point i'll just take it straight and connect it to the chest line and I have my A-line pattern ready so it's as simple as that so another important measurement for this now remember that this one is going to have a panel cone so you decide where you want the, the cone to start or to end so for me I want this to either start or end from the low waist measurement so when I say low waist I mean um, from below the waistline okay so when you hear a low waisted dress or a low waisted pattern is just below any measurement that falls below the waist the actual waistline which is also the body's length where body's length is the same thing as the waistline okay now this is for a two-year-old the body's length is eight inches from the shoulder it is eight inches so any measurement below that eight inches now that means that particular dress is going to be a low waisted dress so for this one i'll be adding extra three inches from that body's length okay for a low waisted dress it is you can add two to five inches depending on where you want the low waist to sit okay so for this one i'll just make it three inches i don't want it too low and i don't want it too high so now eight plus that three inches now is nine eight plus three it is eleven inches so i have eleven inches here you can also decide to um to make your cone to start from the hip line okay so it's up to you where you want it and it also depends on how much fabric that you have with you so it's either from the low waist or from the hip line okay so i have 11 inches assuming you want it from the hip line all you need to do is to add six inches to the body's length that you're working with okay it's very easy for any age from um three months to six years you add six inches from the waist line and you have your hip line there so from that um seven years and up you can just add eight inches from the waistline or the body line that you're working with that will give you the hip line okay so now i'll come over to this end and then go up by half an inch because i don't want this sharp point here so i'll just go up by half an inch and then connect it after which i'll cut it out before we move over to the main purpose of today's tutorial which is how to create the panel cone on this one so let me just quickly cut this out and then remember you're going to use the same to cut for your back pattern the only difference now is that you will include your one inch or one and a half inch for zipper allowance all right so let me just cut this out and we continue all right here is my pattern as you can see so at this point we are going to alter it now to create the cone panel so the first thing I'm going to do is to know the length of my cone. Now remember I said that from this point, this is where I marked my 11 inches because I want mine to start from the low waist. So from this point, I'll just check what I have all the way down. So that is going to be the length of the cone. I have 12 inches here. Okay, so my length now is going to be 12 
inches then you decide how wide you want the cone to be this part now depend on how much fabric that you're working with so now this is my pattern okay you can see i'll just use this now to show you how to do that so for instance now i choose to make my cone to be 10 inches so all i need to do is to fold my paper okay so this way i have five by the time i open it up it's going to be 10. so i'll just fold it that way so this is very easy there's no there's nothing much to it so I'll just fold okay I have my five inches here now so this is it if I open it up it's going to be 10 inches then I'm going to mark the length of my cone remember I am working with 12 inches so I'll just mark my 12 inches but I'm going to be adding extra um, half an inch to that because I'll be using that now to join it on the upper side I'm going to show you why i added this half an inch here so this is 12.5 i'll just mark the point here okay so that is the point there all i need to do now is just to connect it straight to this end you can see that it's very easy i don't want it curvy some people um like to curve it a bit before getting to that end if you want you can also do the same so let me just connect it straight or maybe later i will still curve because by the time you curve it it will also give it a nice shape okay so this is what i have i hope you can see what i marked let me just try and make it clearer okay so now this is the point if i want to curve all i need to do is just to take it this way And make sure that it will match up to what I have there you can see one is ready this is how my cone is going to look like if you like like I said earlier you can leave it straight if you want you can also curve so I'm using this curve area because I love the shape so I'll just cut it out after cutting it out you will now decide how many pieces of this you want all the you want the front or the back side to have so first thing now you, you've seen what you'll be using okay this is the shape that we're using then secondly you decide how many pieces of this that you'll be adding to the dress so how do you calculate that i'll just take my pattern now and open it up this way okay so the first one is this center line one is going to sit exactly on this center line after doing that now for this i'll just make it three in front three at the back and then two is going to sit exactly on this side okay so if i have three in front three at the back plus these two that will sit here meaning i have eight in total so i'll be cutting out these eight pieces that will just come in here if you want you can also make yours more than that it all depends on how or the volume you want it to have okay so now that i have one on this center front i will just check what i have left now then divide that into two okay so from this center point to this end it is 8.5 and remember that this half inch here is my sewing allowance so i will not be adding that so what i have now is eight inches divide that by two i have four so i'll just mark the point that is where the second panel will come in for the front so this is four and then i'll repeat the same on this side just follow the process and then work with your own measurement so i'm going to open it up now and end it on this line that is the low waisted line that i have here so i'll just mark before and then connect it for the front so i'll have three opening on the front together with these sides remember i said i'll be adding two on these sides now if you want to add different colors on your um cone like what i have here if you want to add two or three different colors it's up to you you can decide the spacing of each of the colors that you want to add now I can decide to make, um, to use two inches or, yes, I can decide to make these two inches, just mark two inches on both sides, okay, and then you come to this side and also mark two inches, all I need to do is to fold it again and follow the same shape and then connect it to meet up to that point, okay, then you can now slash it can now open it up now this side can be another color this one can be another color 
all you need to do is to add make sure to add your half inch for joining allowance on this area so you can see that this one is very easy so now let me just slash this open and show you how to fix that in before we move on to the second alteration so here you can see that i just slashed the three points open you can see this is the center and this other one now this is how you're going to be joining it okay so you take your panel and then you're going to start from the hemline okay don't ever start from this side so you're going to start from here and keep on moving it as you, as it is you just stitch it when you get to this end you will flip it over again when you get to this point you're going to notch there sorry you're going to um double stitch here and then you come over to this side again and follow here and stitch again and then when you get to that point you're going to stitch it very tight on this end now if you're a beginner um, I will advise for you to use the straight one so that you don't um, struggle with it a lot. But for some of us that are um, advanced, you can use this curved. Beginners, just use the straight one so that you will not find it um, stressful. So you're going to continue like that and join the first, the second, the third and the rest of it. Now for the back side, you're going to close the zipper side first. and then. But when you close the zipper side... We're going to be ending it here also so that you're going to have a fitted or a matching um, panel for both the front and the back side. So you're going to close the back and then end it on that low waist area before joining all the cone. It's still the same way that you'll be joining all these ones. And then you close up the dress. For this particular one, you need a strong fabric. You're not supposed to use net, of course, for this one because it's not going to stand. So you need um, like scuba, you know, all those fabric that is a little hard. You can use them for this particular design all right so we're going to move on now to the second um alteration all right for the second um pattern alteration that is the easiest so all you need to do is to look for anything that have the shape that you have in mind to achieve so like i'll be using this one now this is the shape that i want to use okay so this is the shape all i need to do is to trace it out on a paper like this okay if you want something bigger than this you just get that and then trace it out on a paper and cut as many as you can you can see it's very easy just cut as many as you can remember i said that you must have enough fabric to cover up because this particular one will really um take in plenty fabric for you to achieve it exactly as it is now you need to use a scuba fabric for this you can also use an african print but all you need to do you'll be adding either a hair stay or a gum stay to it so that it will add a little stiffness to that fabric so that by the time you add it is going to stand out very well so i'll just keep on marking and then cut out as many as i can okay just like that you can see it's very easy and then i'll cut it out so after cutting it out you're going to have something that looks like like this okay so this is the shape that i want to have and then you're going to you know squeeze it or iron it so that you can know the center point because it is on this center point now that you're going to be sewing it on the fabric so before you do this you need to sew your a-line dress close it up nicely so everything that you need to do on the dress so this is the last thing that you'll be doing and then you can decide to start from anywhere and start joining okay like I said, make sure to iron or note the center point because that is where you're going to stitch on the dress. So this is it. So I'm going to pin it now. You can see that I'm pinning it on that center point. So I'll just pin. Okay. And then I'm going to continue like that with the other ones. Okay. So now this is what I have. And then I'm going to maintain half an inch from the next one. Just make sure that you have one, uh, sorry, half inch um, difference or the space that you have between these two should be half inch. Or at most, it should not exceed 0.75. If you exceed that, um, this part is going to be visible. So make sure it's between um, quarter an inch to 0.75. That is the space that you'll be having in between each of your of your panels so the second one like i said you just mark you can mark the half inch so that you don't make any mistake and then you place the second one there and then stitch on the center point you can see it's very easy i'm just spinning it so you see so i'll just spin like i said earlier this will really take enough fabric so make sure you have enough so that you don't end up 
you know, having a um, shortage of this. So I'll just pin. So you can also do like, you can see, this is the second one. You can see what I have. So we're going to continue like that and cut as many that will cover up the what you have on this hem line all right so this is how to make this one you can see that it's very easy you're just going to continue that way if you want to use african prints each of these now you need to um stitch it all around okay and open it on this center but at the back side make sure to use your ha um, hair stay or gum stay so that it's going to stand after sewing it's going to stand so that is it about this one now for the last one it is the easiest i say this is the easy one but for the last one is the easiest so i'll just take um another paper and show you how to do that for the last one now this is my pattern paper so the first thing you need to do is to cut out a very long strip that we will be using to create the cones that will sit on this hemline okay you can decide to make the height of your cone three inches or four inches what i'm what i'm working with here is four inches and i think four inches will really stand out very well for this age so you can go ahead and use four inches height and then this is going to be very long okay that is the strip is going to be very long enough that will cover up the hem line so the first thing i'm going to do is to open up the side okay before this remember that you need to close or finish up the dress the neckline and every other thing this is also the last thing to do so after that you're going to open up the side one of the side and then you're going to join this to that side okay so let me just use half inch to pin it now so this is the sewing allowance i'm just assuming that i've joined it already using this half inch that i am pinning here okay Right, so this is it i've joined it you can see now from this point i'm going to be marking half an inch all the way around so from this point now i'll just mark half an inch i'll just keep on mark marking that until i finish up with what i have on the hem line okay remember that i said only one side should be open which is just here so i'll go ahead and mark from that point now i'll keep on marking half an inch until I finish okay then after marking this now you decide how wide you want the cone to be okay so I'm just I'll just mark a little just to illustrate okay all right so this is my half an inch this is where each of my cone is going to sit on each of these half inch then the next thing I'm going to do I'll be using three inches um, from this strap i'll just use three inches to create the fold okay you can use even less than that or more depending on the volume you want this side to have so now i'll use three inches i'll just go ahead and also mark three inches starting from this half inch remember so i'll just mark three inches and mark the same on this down side all right so this is where my first fold is going to start from these three inches and then i'll fold it to join that half inch that I marked. Remember the first half inch that I just marked. So let me just pin it there. And then I'll pin the other side as well. Now this is where you're going to be sewing. This part that I'm pinning is the line that you will sew. Okay. And then make sure that you have a matching thread. So I'll just take this one also and make sure that it's touching the half an inch. And this other side i didn't mark that so i need to mark both the up and the down side so this is the half inch this is the half inch all right so this is it i'll just make sure that it is touching this other side half inch okay so now this is the first fold that we have so now on this half inch on this part that I pin, that is where you're going to use your, um, um, you're going to sew on this end to secure. And then I'll mark another three inches. Remember I said I'll be using three inches for the fold. Each of my fold is going to be three inches. So I'll just mark it again and fold to meet up to the second half, half inch there. You can see what I am doing. Meeting up the second half inch that I just marked there. I'm just trying to pin. Right, so this part you just need to take your time and it's very easy. Okay, and I'll also fold this one to meet up to the 
the other half inch that I just marked there and I'll just keep on going just like that until I cover up all this hem line. Now you can see why I said that you'll be needing enough fabric for this one so that it will turn out neat and nice. So for this pattern or for this design you don't need to manage your fabric if you manage your fabric it will not come out nice so just that way I'll keep on folding to meet up to the next half inch that i marked there you can see what i have right here okay so i'll just continue that way until i'll finish up on this end line all you need to do is to make sure that you stitch it use a very tight stitch so that it will not open up all right so this is how to you know alter your a line pattern to create these three beautiful designs so that is it for today Please subscribe if you have not and I will see you all in my next video.